In one minute, I'm going to teach you the most common pediatric fractures for your rotation. Growth plate fractures occur during rapid growth phases and are classified using the Salter-Harris classification. A green stick fracture consists of a fracture on one side of the bone and a plastic deformity or buckling on the other, managed by immobilization and casting. A buckle fracture occurs when compressive forces buckle the cortex of long bones. A fall on a hyperextended elbow can cause a supracondylar humerus fracture, where the humerus breaks. A bowing fracture happens when microscopic periosteal fractures prevent a bone's ability to recoil to its normal position, leading it to curve like a bow. The most commonly fractured long bone in children is the clavicle, and clavicular fractures can be birth-related. A toddler's fracture occurs when a toddler twists their legs while walking or running, leading to a non-displaced spiral fracture through the distal tibia. Stress fractures are overuse injuries, causing small cracks in the periosteum caused by repetitive force. A corner fracture looks like a chip off the edge or corner of the bone on x-ray, and its pattern of healing has a bucket handle appearance. This is a red flag for child abuse, as it typically happens when a child is forcibly pulled or from a twisted extremity. And that's it. Check out Sketchy's brand new Pete's course for more.